Gloves are now off. Asim Popala to set her eyes to be the next leader of the official opposition, the DA. She was the first DA member to make her intentions known. Despite talks that Stian Hazen has the backing of most provincial leaders, Palate remains undeterred. At the party's congress, she will go head to head with Lungile Penyane and John Stian Hazen, who is the current leader of the party. John Stian Hazen's term is coming to an end. Ah, okay. That vacates the role of federal leader, mm. and I'm putting my hand up and availing myself to take the party forward. Palate also took a swipe at the party's incumbent leader, John Steenhuisen. She argues that John Steenhuisen has dismally failed to adequately grow the Democratic Alliance. When you assess someone's leadership, you look at the data and you look at the trajectory in which the party is going um, under their leadership. And unfortunately, we've just not seen the kind of growth that if you look at our, our brand and what we offer, we should be enjoying that kind of growth. So there's definitely a disconnect there. Setting her eyes on the future and with coalition talks continuing to be the talk of the town, Palazzo says for now, the ANC is not an option. DA ANC coalition? I don't think the ANC is ready. I don't think the ANC has time between now and the election to reform. Unfortunately, the ANC in its current form is corrupt. It's, it's, it's riddled with maladministration and it's proven that they're incapable of governing. Now with the race for the leadership position open, many South Africans and loyalists to the party will know in two weeks who will emerge victorious to take the party forward. The DA's conference will take two days from the 1st to the 2nd of next month. And for the chairperson of the Federal Council, Helen Zill will go head to head with Lungile Penyani, who has also raised her hand in this position. Ntlantla Katlani, SABC News, Johannesburg.